Hey, wanna know a fun fact? And that's just really too bad because I'm not gonna tell you one. Welcome back to Cave Colonization episode 57. What's really unfortunate, I realized last episode was the Bro Wars numbers and I didn't say anything about that. Today is going to be a little bit interesting. As we've been moving further into this gigantic cavern, I have laid out quite a couple of places to build. We got one over there, we got one right there, we have one over there, and then we have this one. There's kind of a lot of area, like there's another little bit farther that way. Hello, cobblestone pillar. Because there are quite a couple of places to build, I actually am not going to do what I said last episode and come up with a copy paste simple house design. Instead, I asked on my Discord server if anyone wanted to build some stuff. So but today, we're going to be building what they have built. So first off, I'm going to start by building my own house so we can compare my build to their builds. I'm not going to show me building this house. I'm just going to build it and then like kind of show it off. 12 seconds later. All right, this is the house that I have built. It is very simple in the classic DB production style. So this is the exterior, and then it looks like, I guess, this. It's the same on all the other three sides. If we head inside, the pretty standard interior. We got a smoker, we got some amethyst and a mushroom, got a lantern, little table, and a bed up here for this little second floor area. And that is about it. So now we're going to move on to Charizard's build. He did not make it easy on me. I usually do like wood and I have a lot of bushes. Charizard tends to do a lot of stone. I'm going to do my best to build this one because it is going to take me a while. Bruh. I've already mapped out like the base layer because when I was building this in my creative world to figure out how it was built, I built it wrong like three times. So I figured I should like at least put the layout down. He used a lot of blocks, three shulker boxes. So this is going to be amazing. And I'm going to need the screenshots. So he did like bricks and granite. I probably am going to do a different texture than he did. I mean, I'm gonna use the same blocks, but I might not place them exactly in the same spot. So I put this window in here. I'm going to like do what I know how to do first. Use anything like that. That was the most worthless water bucket clutch ever. I may be sounding a little bit different. I ran out of bricks. All right, I guess time to put in some granite. I still have another stack, but if I run out of that stack, I'm going to be pretty upset. All right, I see no reason why not to try to put the granite where he put his. Okay, you know what? This is gonna take like literally forever. So I'll just knock out a couple of blocks here and there for the granite. This is save on some bricks. I don't know like how angry Charizard is going to be that I have committed this sin. So where are my granite stairs? It's going to be impossible to find like anything. Wait a second. Well, how, how did how did I place that there even? That was an impressive misplacement. Once again, no discussion questions. Although I have discovered that when I plug my computer in, right now it's not plugged in, but when I do plug it in, the screen becomes desaturated and the GUI shrinks. I have no idea what that is about. I mean, I know why the GUI shrinks. It's because it goes back to its default screen resolution, which is 32 by 2000, I think. I have Minecraft set to be 1080 1920 resolution it shouldn't be changing size like that that is just wrong don't take that out of context bruh there is a window here Ooh, there should not be stone bricks right there so let's get rid of them this build this is charizard at his finest torturing me i suppose we can dude i don't i don't know okay honestly i don't know i don't know what any of this stuff is i don't know where any of it goes okay well i know where some of it goes but i guess i could put down the doors this is going to be really fun so that goes like that 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 goes like that i put two smooth stone underneath this not that all right honestly you know what i think i'm just gonna say frick that and kind of do some interior because i think that'll help me figure out where everything goes so this is going to be like kind of a first in case of colonization but Charizard added basement to his build so if we come down here I already kind of started digging it out and then we have to mine out the walls because I plan not well we can just slap some bricks down it's really annoying having a full inventory I keep saying it but like it never becomes not true right so now with the ladders we can actually get up and down into the basement area we have the trapdoor over on this side there's just a chain I think that's meant to be like 
So you pull this and a little bulb clicks on, but honestly, I, I, I don't know. Okay, first of all, over here, redstone torch. And that'll make sense as to why when I get to there, assuming I put in the right spot, which there's a chance I may not have. And it looks like Charizard's just gone for a little bit of keg action up in here, or I guess down in here because we are in a basement. Okay, so let's get out of here. And then I think the trap door should be, wait, let's see. Yes! Dude, that worked. The reason it's up like this is because the redstone torch is underneath it. So behind this is a smooth stone and a campfire because Charizard has also gone for the chimney. He has watched a lot of cave colonization. Also, he didn't add these cracked polished blackstone bricks, which I should not be using here. He didn't add those, I did because I thought it would be you know, interesting. So then we just have boop and then honestly, I'm not sure how high this goes. So we'll ignore it for now. And we can just add some granite to this wall since there isn't any granite. I can already tell this is going to be a really fun video to edit. He has got some tables and he's using the scaffold table technique that he probably of course learned from me. I mean honestly I don't know where else he would have got it from. I forgot to pack one brick slab. Thankfully stone cutters exist. It is going to be really painful just walking. I don't know why I expected that to work. Walking back between my shulker boxes every three seconds to get a block. Alrighty, we have a little shelf action going on here. Okay, so on this shelf, we're going to have a flower pot with a fern. I wasn't sure how many black candles, so I put two. There might've been four, I genuinely couldn't tell. A brewing stand, and I added a lantern up here because there were like no lanterns on this floor. He also did something really unique in forcing me to use a loom to make a banner, so that's cool, I guess. Then he's got this little carpet, his colors are are light blue and red in case you couldn't tell. Right here is another change that I made to his build. He had three bookshelves over here but I'm going to put another little shelf kind of like what he has over here with a flower pot and bamboo and again a lantern because there weren't like any lanterns and it was pretty dark. So I believe that's all the interior for this bottom floor actually besides the staircase which I can now struggle to put in. There was like a little cavern underneath here and there was a zombie and it was really bugging me and I had to go find it. It was really annoying. Okay I, I hear another zombie now. I just had to say something about zombies, didn't I? I just bloody had to. All right, well, hopefully you can kind of see the direction this is going in. I know my commentary has been really, really bad, but honestly, it is taking me a lot to build this. It's quite a confusing build. I found it to be anyway. So if I got my stone brick stairs, I can do one stone brick here, a stone brick stairs here and here and a stone brick slab and then a lantern above the door. Okay, I did that entire thing one block too low. Well, ironically, I did the exact same thing when I was building it in the creative world. The reason I built it in the creative world was so I could get the list of all the blocks and also practice building it for when I would inevitably have to build it here. Because I usually know my own builds, not inside and out, but I know generally the layout. This is one that I would have to study to build. I don't really want to particularly memorize a Minecraft build. All right, this is the funny part. He did some texturing, right? He's been practicing texturing. So he built that. No joke, he built that into the side of his build. And I love that. I think that is hilarious. I don't know what happens there, so I'm going to conveniently ignore it for now. Instead, I am going to... I don't know. He did a little bit of texturing that just goes right up through the middle. And then where's the like, gray stained glass? I'm gonna be careful placing this. I do have my silk touch pick, but still. Okay, so this is the front wall. And yay, what a front wall it is. And if I... Oh, I do still have the cobblestone. Stone. stone brick walls on me so I can put those down as well. This recording is already probably like 20 minutes. I'm trying my best, okay? I mean, my best may not be very good, but that doesn't mean I'm not trying it. That's about as far as I'm going to go in the interior for now because I have realized that I don't know how to build the exterior in this particular moment. So to help myself, we're moving on. Although really quickly, you know what? I'm just going to put these two flower pots down and then these two blue orchids. Alrighty. So I'm a dumbass and realized that I didn't bring any oak wood whatsoever. Do I have oak wood in here? No, I don't. So that's ass and I have to go get some. Thankfully though, there's like a mine shaft around here. So you know what? Bookshelf here. And of course I don't have the flower pots on me. Dude, the advanced inventory update where they give you twice the inventory slots. I can't wait for that update. A gray bed like this. Here I go saying like this again. Time for me to suffer as I not proceed to not have enough inventory. Okay, as I don't have enough inventory space. All right, let's dump some stuff temporarily to put down the item stand because he added himself in the cave colonization, kind of. 
he made this leather armor stand version of himself. I didn't know what dyes he used, so I hope I did it right. All right, we got a couple more bricks now. And honestly, I think that should be about all the bricks I need, except for over there. I don't, I don't know what's going on over there. I keep moving the microphone. I feel like the audio is going to be all over the place on this episode, so apologies in advance. But we're just going to keep moving on as if I'm not an idiot. All right, time to use that oak wood. And boom, see how little oak wood I needed? Not even these three go here because there's a painting that goes, yeah, I don't know why that, I thought, what the hell? That painting just went to like the moon. So the spruce door goes like that. And then there's two more oak stairs that form a little table with the lantern on. One of the few that Charizard actually placed. Okay, and then a corner bush. So Charizard placed one of those. So we're good. He made sure to get at least one in his build. I mean, I said that if... If there was no corner bush in the build, I would add one. Right, so I think, therefore I am, but I'm not because I don't think. I no, don't know what I'm saying. I also don't know what's going on here. In case it wasn't obvious, I am struggling a little, but I think it is kind of obvious. I mean, you head outside, and I know that there is a, a jungle door that goes here. I'm just gonna put this down like this, because that's where it goes. And then like that, I'm pretty sure. And then there's a lantern. Now that looks about right. This goes here, that does not go there. I think this is a dark oak that goes here, but the door goes on this side of it, like that. And then I run out of bricks like that. So now I need to clutch on a spruce stair. Never mind, I don't have the spruce stairs in my inventory, so it doesn't matter. He's got this little exterior area here, cauldron. I think it comes out like this. Oops, this is meant to be the spruce gate. Then along here, and then like this. Now he's got a fire escape here, which is honestly good for me, because this is an easy way to get up to the top. I did this entirely right, because I have one more ladder, and that is really good. My inventory is still absolutely filled with blocks, though, so I need to place some down and get moving, because... This is going really poorly so far. So we have stone brick walls here. Did I not bring enough of these? I don't think I did. There's meant to be like three above here. Like one, two, three. And over there as well. Oops, looks like we're missing some stuff here. So it's gonna all be granite because I ran out of bricks. Actually, there's a potential for it to not be bricks because there's a potential for me to have missed something right here. So there is a window. That brick is gonna stay inside, but I don't want it to do that, so... Boom. That saves me like three seconds of editing, except now I can't find the light gray. <laughs> Here it is. This is meant to be stone bricks as well, but not that over there. So honestly, you can't really blame me. This build is kind of confusing. I guess you could blame me, but blame Charizard instead, please. Okay, I feel like I should get a move on. I'm going to do something I actually know how to do, which is the ceiling, or I guess the roof. So this is where the last ladder goes, and then this is all made out of concrete powder. No, I'm not gonna have enough, I know. Yeah, I am missing a little bit, because I didn't put some things in that do not have it. Okay, so that made no sense whatsoever. So one of them is over here, and this can go here, and that one's like right here, I think, like that. Okay, so then there's blackstone around this rim. I see that I am probably going to have counted correctly the amount of cobblestone Dude, I can't, I can't speak. I'm, I'm so, I'm so ready to be done with speaking. It looks like I did count the correct number of stone brick walls. Right, this is a little bit awkward. Also, his chimney just kind of ends abruptly. Mine doesn't really. I have another one like this, another one like this, and then spruce fences along here. And then we get some lanterns on all the corners. So then he's got like this weird radiator thing with like blast furnace, minecart tracks, and then two in front of this, one away from here is a random lightning rod on an andesite pillar. Then over here is a random lightning rod. I don't know why there's a random lightning rod. I also think that one's in the wrong spot. So then over here, I took the liberty of adding another corner bush because I felt that the build didn't have enough. So there we go, we have another one. I also added a little table with a flower pot with a red tulip on it. So he originally left this as gray concrete powder. I decided to make it a stone bricks because it, like, it would make more sense than having the concrete powder visible, in my opinion anyway. So really quickly, I'm just gonna put... I believe this goes like that. That's just this video. Does this go here? Does this not go here? I don't know where anything goes. But this is a skylight. You get a lot of sunlight. So, there is still so much more to do, and I am not happy about that. Over here, I just didn't add this door. And because there was no roof, I couldn't add the lantern that goes in here. And then there's a lantern that goes on that, that's why I added that. He didn't add that, I did, because it was dark. So we're kind of nearing the end of blocks to place, and I do have to place these trap doors. I don't actually know how they are placed. I think it's like, 
this, but I'm not sure. There's another balcony kind of thing over here, the spruce stair balcony that goes to the fire escape. And then I have to figure out how to put these trap doors in as well. Okay, that was pretty easy and painless, amazingly. And then this convenient fire escape provides a way back up here. I'm just going to like apologize to Charizard for destroying his build, honestly. I did not do a very good job building it. So, oh, balls. Thankfully though, there's a ladder here, so we can just go up and... I probably didn't pick it up. Get out of here, Granite. I'll be back for you. Alright, Geronimo! Hello, Granite. I'm back. Alright, I guess, like, to save on some blocks, I should just finish this area. You know, while I'm doing something that doesn't require a brain, let me just, like, say that this build has been super scuffed, and I apologize for that. I don't know why I'm building this checkerboard. It really shouldn't be a checkerboard, but... Hopefully, I can edit the footage into something that is mildly watchable and enjoyable because I am not enjoying building this right now. I mean, I kind of am. It would be a lot more enjoyable if this wasn't like taking disc space. And he's got this fancy little trap door thing. Now I have to block clutch. Okay, that was pretty easy. So this is rails for the trap for the <laughs> fire escape. My voice is starting to die. That's not good. Honestly, I think this is the first time I can say that one side of this building is done, except for like the little rim around that. Let's move on though. On this side, he added a cool little vine kind of thingy. Once again, this is a little bit of where I have edited the original build because I added oak leaves, only three of them, but still, they were not there in the original build. And he's got one in front of the window, so I can put a spruce piece there and a spruce piece up there and then pray not misplace these that is another side done we are really making progress now i will only wish it wasn't a freaking hour into the recording another edit from me which is adding this lantern above this door and then adding these stairs and slabs and where the hell did my trapdoors go? Okay, they're right here. Okay, so I was right. I did put too many of these here. All right, so that is like three out of four sides done. And we can finally move on to this side. Now, I didn't really add too much over here. I just thought it was a little bit bare, so I did add some things. So I added a mangrove leaf next to the chimney because I now do dead trees next to chimneys or dead bushes next to chimneys, I guess I should say. But then another little edit from me is adding these, these fences like that. Just to add a lantern because it was, again, dark. That's kind of a thing when you're in a cave. It does tend to be a little bit dark. We have doot and doot. Then if we come over this way, we again have another doot and another doot and another doot. That is the wrong doot. That is the right doot. I swear a good amount of recording time has been lost to me like scrolling through screenshots. Okay, I see something I messed up. That should be this last spruce stair. So let me just get up there and fix that. Cool. I think that should be like that then. Yup. And I'm one spruce trap door short. I'm looking for details that I missed and I did spot that I have not put a lantern there. Honestly, as far as I can tell, I think that's the only detail missing. Now, I am sure that I did miss something and I did build something wrong, but yes, this is the build. I actually like it. I think it does kind of fit in pretty well here because there right. is- Alright, and it is now time to do Arrow's build. I wasn't actually sure I was going to include this one because I wasn't sure he was gonna make it in time. But also, if you're wondering why I'm this skin, it's because DB Productions is currently on break after being mentally abused by building that. So while he recovers from that, I'm going to be this skin, which I believe is called No One Knows. Well, I, that's what I called it. To avoid having another hour long build, I'm going to, you know, build this and just get cracking. So Arrow's build is a lot more Arrow or Mr. Shark. It doesn't matter. His build is a lot like more similar to something that I would build. I don't know if that's because he tried to make it something that I would build. I just need to remember how wide this is because I built it wrong in the creative world. Right, so this should be the base. I think I'm going to put the window on this side. I would want the stairs to be like, they're like this. So which side is the window on? It is on this side, yes. I'm going to be trying to build this like pretty quickly because I think I, I don't know if I mentioned, but the footage that I recorded for Charizard's build is like an hour long, which I think is honestly the longest I've spent building something in cave colonization, like one thing, because Copperville Square took me a long time to build. So I'm just doing a little bit of texturing here. That's what he did. And thankfully, oh, I needed that one because the window. So now I have my stuff we can build. So he used dark oak on the pillars, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It was hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure he did. Okay, I actually managed to hit that. And then I immediately fell. So like, as soon as I 
do something cool. It is countered by me failing in the most DB Productions way imaginable. So I'm gonna put the stairs in because otherwise I'm just gonna be like consistently falling down and I'm not actually sure if this is how the stairs go. Like that. So then the door goes up here because it's kind of like awkward here but I'm pretty sure this is how it goes. And I know when I was getting out all my blocks to build I did not get you know the slabs so I can do that later. So the staircase goes right here. How did I not get out the slabs? I must have not had inventory room. The hell was that? I'm recording like in my room now where I usually record in the basement so there's going to be the potential to be a lot more random sounds. I can hear dogs barking so that's already a great sign. I think I may have miscounted the amount of dark oak I would need. Okay I believe the door on the side goes right here. It looks like I miscounted the amount of dark oak logs I would need but it's fine because those are going to be covered up so I can just replace them with spruce. Actually you know what? Of course I would fall but like I have dark oak in here. In my shulker box of useful things. I actually have something useful. Who would have thought it? And this is roof build time. So I'm going to show you like how he did the roof. So he has like an outline. Put a torch down, it's pretty dark. Outline of deep slate. And then he did, this is not the right block. I swear I just moved this into my east lot. Then he did this for the interior. And that's what he did for the roof. So I am going to, of course, pause. So you cannot see the roof being built. All right, there we go. Probably the easiest roof building I've ever done, but I didn't have to keep stopping to craft stairs. So now that we're inside, we can do some interior. I think one of the problems with like how I recorded Charizard's build is I was very unorganized because it was kind of like a weird shape. So for Arrow's build, it's a little bit more like what I'm used to. So I think it'd be gonna be easier for me to build. Also, I did just build it like really recently. Okay, one extra oak slab, that's expected. So bookshelf, and I should probably put down some lights so we get a lantern. This Boost door that goes. I, I can't put that down, but it goes there, trust me. I'll fix that later. So I'm just gonna do all the interior first before doing the exterior, like how I would usually do it, because I kinda can do that with this one, it's pretty simple. So he did this with cobblestone and mossy cobblestone, which is a technique I like. I'm going to try and leave like the mossy cobblestone visible, like that. And he's got a couple of utility blocks, you got a smoker a furnace, and a crafting table. I haven't looked at the screenshots all too much, really. I mean, it does help that I literally just built this like less than an hour ago in my creative world. Immediately got like the blocks I would need, so that is helping out quite a bit. That torch doesn't go there. Charizard and Arrow both do like things with trap doors. I don't really use, I've like been using trap doors more, but usually I just use them as like exterior decoration. But they have both used them right now as railings. It's not like that much on this floor, it's like just this. There is a painting that goes here, not across the door. Time to gamble with paintings. Oh look, we struck gold on the first one. That is actually amazing. Right, so I'm gonna do something that he didn't do and put a lantern right there because it was a little bit dark. Okay, so now we have the upstairs area and I know the carpet goes like this. The bed looks like it goes here. Chest goes here. He uses the old technique of not having the right block in his shulker box. He uses the old technique that I used to do with like tables like this. I did that all the time. A little flower pot and a zoo blue at oh. Hello, bat. And then, hmm, what goes here? I think it's another table with a lantern. And then the last thing we need is also a painting, which we can go gambling again. It's on this side. Oh, look at that. That is two for two. If only I had this luck when I actually went gambling with real money. I don't, I don't gamble with real money, by the way. That was a joke. Right, so now we can do some exterior work. And it's pretty simple. I can replace this now. So I know Mr. Shark has left quite a few comments on my builds telling me to use fence gates. So it makes sense that when I give him the opportunity to do a build, he uses over 20 fence gates. Like, look at this. Fence gates. Fence gates. More fence gates. More fence gates. More fence gates. More fence gates. The cat wants to get back in. Should I let him in? I might as well. All right, the cat is in the house and he's now meowing at me very aggressively. So you might be able to hear that. Also, I'm just building this little balcony. There's really not much to it. Like there's not even that much room to stand here, but hey, it's a balcony, I guess. And I'm going to go off the unintended way. Now, Arrow actually used torches. I haven't used torches recently, really. Um, Ignore those. Those are just for, you know, lighting. I change the light sources in my builds from torches to lanterns because lanterns are cool. Oh my gosh, no, he's about to walk across my computer. Please don't do that. So Arrow did add some bushes outside. I have to say that I very much appreciate that. Stop meowing at me. 
please. I think on this side it's the dead bush. Wait, I need the trapdoors. There are trapdoors on these corners. Over here, more fences, more fences, more trapdoors, more bushes. So W arrow in the comments, or Mr. Shark, I guess. Another bush. Ooh, actually, I was saying that there wasn't like that much room in these builds and there's no corner bush except for right down here, which I somehow forgot. How, how could I be so silly? I did look for room to add another one, but there just really wasn't. So at least Mr. Shark managed to fit one in, so that's pretty cool. Now I have to do some parkour to put this flower pot in. Eh. Okay, that actually worked. Wait. Nope. Eh. Okay, perfect. There we go. So now we just need the trap doors like that. So the last thing I really need to do is put in like more trap doors because apparently Mr. Shark loves trap doors. And honestly, can you really blame him? Trap doors are pretty cool. And there's no way I also miscounted the spruce trap doors I needed, right? Surely I wouldn't do something as foolish as that. This is like the one part of the build where it kind of confused me. Definition of insanity right there, doing the same thing twice, expecting different results. This is like kind of the one part in the screenshots where it confused me, because I saw a trapdoor there, but I also saw that this fence was connecting to something. And I was like, wait a minute, how does that work? But I did figure it out. My brain was large in the long run. Alright, I'm pretty sure that is Arrow's build. It looks definitely kind of lonely, but that's fine. There is something, going to be something else over there, and something right here. So this kind of last thing I want to, I guess, discuss is I have this spot and I'm kind of don't really know if I want to make one big build here like along here or two small builds so let me know in the comments which one you think would fit better all right the cat just walked across my computer and I accidentally clicked the windows button so hopefully the recording doesn't mess up but in case it does my headset is now falling apart I recorded an intro at the end of Charizard's an intro an outro at the end of Charizard's build so I will now cut to past DB and hope that his intro is salvageable in editing. Sorry this video was super super scuffed but thanks for sticking around so thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.